Hey you guys, so if you guys want to see the lasagna stew from start to finish, keep on watching. Make sure you leave your comments down below if you guys want to see more recipes like this. Enjoy! So these are the ingredients that we are going to be using for the lasagna soup. We have some ground beef here, we have some ricotta, we have tomato paste. We have mozzarella cheese. We have chicken stock. You can use vegetable broth if you want to as well. We also have, instead of using the pasta noodles that you would use for a traditional lasagna, we don't have that. That's what we're going to be using because that's what's in the pantry. We're going to use shells so you can use any noodles of your choice. Work with what you have. We have some onions here. This is the sauce that we're going to be using, the Hunt's one, because that's what we have. We have some minced garlic, basil, and parsley. So what I'm going to do right now is just chop up my onions, my basil, and my parsley, and we'll proceed to the next step. So here are our onions. We're just going to cook these for a couple minutes, let them get translucent, and then we'll add the garlic. So here I'm just going to take minced garlic. This is a good amount. We love a lot of garlic, so you can use as much or as little as you want. And right now I'm just going to add a little bit of black pepper because I like to season my onions for some reason. I like it just a little bit and then a little bit of some coarse salt just a little bit you don't need that much we're just gonna let this go for a couple minutes and then we'll add our beef okay so here's my beef i'm just gonna dump it all in and you just want to take a wooden spoon and just break this up gonna take a couple minutes to break it all up but you want to make sure you break it up because i don't know about y'all i don't like my meat to be clumpy yeah because... if it, this meat like if you don't break it up with a wooden spoon it's gonna clump up and mm -hmm. mm -mm. i mean it'll break down eventually but it's better for you to do it with the wooden spoon at this point so that when it's cooked you don't have to do that later so here's the meat cooking away and as you can see it's starting to develop a lot of oil so I will spoon that out in a little bit but right now I'm just gonna add some of my seasonings I'm gonna add some oregano now we like a lot of oregano in this house so we're gonna go a little bit ham here is some salt free seasoning and this has everything you could think of because it always got stuck for some reason so I'm just gonna add a little bit that little bit that came out a little bit of parsley flakes although I have the real stuff I like to add the dry stuff as well some garlic powder although we have some garlic already. minced onion I like to go ham on the onions because y'all know I love onions huepa cebolla black pepper pepe right we're gonna continue to move this around and break it up because you know copying the beef I'm gonna continue breaking it up and I'm just gonna add a little bit of more salt just a little bit because we are gonna be using chicken broth and some chicken stock that I still have left over in the fridge and you know you want to start off small with these type of dishes because you know you are going to be using chicken broth and chicken stock sometimes you know um they add a lot of salt if you don't get like the lower sodium one which we have the lower sodium one pero como quiera that has a lot of salt to me regardless so i'm just going to continue to break down this meat and continue to make sure that it's cooked and then i'll show you the next step so um as you can see we got the wrong type of beef we always got the wrong type of beef. I don't know why. I don't know how. You got to discard all of this oil. I don't like oil like this. So I'm just going to discard it. And it was my fault because I originally wanted to start off with the beef. But because Darlene gets so annoyed with me, sometimes I'm like, let me not bother her. And let me let her do it her way. 
No, but and she actually was thinking about the same thing, mm-hmm. but we didn't tell each other. Mm-hmm. We're so dumb sometimes, me and D, like for real. Like, so it doesn't matter what meat I get. The only meat that works for me that doesn't give me all this problem with the oil is ground turkey. Mm-hmm. Porque so, turkey está seco, nena, mm-hmm. por eso. So I'm just gonna discard all this oil. Let my meat continue to cook. Look at all this oil so far, you guys, that you have to discard. Like. That is just no bueno. No uh-uh. bueno here. So let me finish doing this. So I tasted the meat, you guys. It's pretty good so far. Um, it could use a little bit more salt, but I'm just going to wait. I did leave a little bit of oil. So I'm just going to add two tablespoons like this of tomato paste and dissolve it. So right now I have some of this chicken broth in this container. This is what we're going to be using. You can use uh, water if you just want to use water, chicken bouillon. I'm going to be using this and then this can that I have as well. It's the same thing. So I'm just going to add both of them. As you can see, look how good this looks already. Look at all the color that is developing. Yes, okay. I didn't even put paprika, nothing on it. So this is what we're doing right now. And now that we're here, let me add a little bit of basil in it and some fresh parsley you guys so i'm gonna add a little bit of parsley and a little bit of basil because i want to leave that some of them to top it off the top so i'm just gonna let this come to a boil really fast and then we'll proceed to the next step so as you can see my soup is coming to a boil well the meat i'm gonna add this can of hunt's tomato sauce and usually people do like plum tomatoes or diced tomatoes. and then, tomatoes mm-hmm. as well. And then one of these cans. But I just wanted to do just a can of tomato sauce of your choice, whatever you want. I think we're going to need a little bit of uh, water later for we can add the pasta here. Because a lot of people cook the pasta separately. But to me, that's just a waste. I just like to do one pot uh, soups and that's just it. And then what happens when you cook the pasta in the soup like this darlene wants it in between a soup and a stew yeah. right mm-hmm. so that's what it's called the stoop that's how they call it so basically we wanted it to be runny but thick at the same time so the pasta it has starch so it's gonna thicken this for us exactly and you want it a little bit more runny a soup consistency just add more water or chicken stock or chicken broth you can also add um heavy cream or half and half as well and then at this point, we're going to taste this broth to see if we need to add more seasonings. Another thing is when you're making um, like dishes with a lot of tomatoes, if you find that the dish is too acidic for you, take a tablespoon of a little bit of sugar and put it in here. Also, you can do shredded carrots because what it does, it takes away a little bit of the acidity. You know what I mean? Yeah. So as you can see, my soup is coming to a boil. Um, I am going to add a little bit of brown sugar because I only have brown sugar in the house and it's a little bit too acidic for me. So I'm just going to add a little bit of sugar and then I'm going to do half a can of water just because when I add my pasta, I want it to have enough, uh, water so that the pasta Broth, can boil. So it could boil. Yeah. yeah. So this is how I like it. I like this consistency. It should thicken up once you add the pasta. So I'm just going to be adding my pasta right now, now that I'm just here. So we're going to be using shells, like we said. Um, so I am going to be adding my shells in here. And as you can see, oh, this is already looking good. This is looking... Huepa, pero que eso, papa, pi. So I'm just going to cover this on medium low. And I'm just going to let this go for at least 10 minutes to see where the consistency is with the pasta. And then we'll show you the next step. So my soup is coming up to a boil. I did add a little bit more salt, a little bit of more parsley and garlic powder because you can never go wrong. I'm going to be adding a little bit of Romano to the soup. Just a little bit. That should be good enough. And then I'm going to add a little bit of parm now you make the soup however you want a lot of people wait till last minute to add cheese cheese nah, we're putting cheese in the soup and on top of the soup okay papi because you know what i like it cheesy my lasagna always got to be cheesy so i don't care 
So we're just gonna let this come to a boil for 10 minutes, medium, low, and then I'll show you when it's completely done. Okay, you guys, don't mind the background. So I'm just gonna make my ricotta mixture real quick. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. No, well, actually a lot of black pepper because I like to season my ricotta. I don't know about cha. Mix this up a little bit. And this is how I usually make it too, too when I do my calzones and stuff like that. So I'm going to add a little bit of this stinky ass cheese. Yeah, stuff... that smells bad. Mm -hmm. Like if you really want to really get somebody mad, you experiment with Romano, Parmesan, Asiago and all that. A little bit of basil and a little bit of uh, parsley. Mix it up and it smells amazing already. It smells funky already, but yeah, yeah, it smells kind of funky. I'm not gonna lie, but but you know it's good. It it does something to the lasagna. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of these Parmesan um, slices here because they're pretty big. But it's gonna all melt once you start eating the soup. So yeah, this is the mixture for the topping. Okay, you guys. So this is the final product. You guys, we added a lot of pasta. Uh, Darlene added the whole box instead of consulting me, and so we did a huge batch. So we did need to add double the the stock, but we didn't. So that's why it looks like this. But the beauty is that you can do whatever you want in your home, and this is going to last us for at least a good five days. So we're just going to plate up, and I'll show you when it's plated up. This is it, you guys. We hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys want to see more recipes like this, Give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching.